Hey, welcome to Backyard Bows. Welcome back. It's been maybe two weeks since we've since we've done one of these. Uh, our work season started. We kind of put everything on hold a little bit, but we're going to jump right back into some of my favorite bows from the year. The ones that I I've been so excited to get all of these in because they gave the entire lineup of bare bows this year a new look. Uh, they kept the EKO cams, but whole new risers. They gave them a little bit of an upgrade too. These are some of the bows that you guys have been most excited about. So we have the Alaskan XT. Uh, the Persist, which I'm also very excited about. I think their flagship bows are extremely underrated and I think they get overlooked a lot. Uh, but man, there's some shooters. And then we're gonna start with the White Tone Max, which is what you guys asked for. So let's just jump right in. You got this whole, whole new riser. Okay, and I think the risers are some of the best looking risers they've put out in a while. Nice double bridges all over it. It's very solid. You have that nice thin grip in the middle. Same limb pockets, same limbs. You got these EKO cams, which we'll talk about in just a second. You have the ability to mix and match the color of the riser and the limbs. You have a 45 to 60 pound option and a 55 to 70 pound option. Uh, this one is 31 inches axle to axle. You got a six and a half inch brace height. It gets 339 on the IBO and it goes from 25 out to 30. So if you, if you ever found that the let off positioning on these can be, the at first glance can be a little bit confusing. Um, what I got was this little chart here. It makes it super simple. So when you first get your bow in, you wanna pick out your draw length. So once you find your draw length and the bow, so right here they have every single bow, uh, some of the ones from last year and then some of the ones from this year. And then they have the variety of draw lengths for each bow. So pick out your draw length and you're gonna go over and you're gonna see four positions. So for 75, 80, 85, and 90% let off. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna first pick your module setting. Once you pick out your module setting, then you're gonna wanna set your, your draw stop at the correct location. So mine's A, and either in that A option, you can either face the arrow towards the negative or face the arrow towards the positive. Okay, and that's gonna give you your four different settings. So I have mine on 80% let off. I will tell you, this, this has come from multiple sources and myself. If you mess up the module or the draw, the draw stop setting, if you have it a little bit too long and it over rotates these cams, these bows can get stuck. Okay, I've had it happen to me. It's scary. You let the string down, the bow is still pressed. You're like, oh my gosh. So then you tense back up on the string. Um, I've had multiple shop owners say it too. So if this happens to you, what you've done is you've put the draw stop in the wrong setting, okay? And honestly, there's two things that they, they tell you to do, um, which I've heard from these bow shop owners, which is pretty much if no one's down range, throw it down range, find a patch of grass, throw it in the rash, and usually it'll just kind of uh, repress itself. I can't imagine that being good for the bow. What I ended up doing is I kind of turned it upside down while it was still draw. I hooked it onto my um, draw weight hook outside and then I kind of just, you know, gave it a nudge and eventually they rolled back over and I was able to save that bow. Uh, but make sure that that draw stop setting is in the correct position, okay, before you draw it back. I think that's key and I think a lot of people do that more than you would assume. I got this thing dressed to the T too. We got the Trophy Line React. We have this Trophy Line Quick Disconnect Stabilizer, which I end up loving. I throw this thing on a lot of different bows. Uh, and then we have the Prophecy A Rest. And we've done a lot of bare bows um, since we started, a whole bunch. One of my favorites was just the Alaskan. Okay, so that original Alaskan. Uh, just the simplicity at its best form. That thing was just an absolute shooter. It, has it, it had its own cams, um, but I really like these EKO cams. Okay, every single bow that they've been on hasn't been my favorite, but you know they are a great ratio for that smooth and speed option. So they are a good ratio from smooth to speed. You know, you get some great speeds, you don't sacrifice a ton. This bow, I love the way it balances out. It's very light. It's it's like a perfect, nice, light, compact bow. Exactly what you want for whitetail hunting, no pun intended. This thing is just, it, it just, it fits in your hands. The grip is really small. I think that's gonna be a preference thing. Uh, some people like it, some people don't, but man, it is just all around, it's a nice balancing bow. Has your options for your, one piece or two piece quivers on top and bottom, two burger holes for your rest, couple different options for your sight. This is a great bow for the price. The quality on these, matching it with the price, you know, you kind of get, you're getting what you're paying for. But I love that they have four options. I, I love that you can play with that let off a little bit. That's really gonna vary from hunter to hunter. I, I've noticed that more and more as I've done these and as I've talked to you guys uh, and gotten feedback in the shop, like everybody likes a little bit different let off play for various reasons. And so, so I like that they have the four options there. 80%, 85% on these is just money to me. Uh, it really helps smooth out that draw. All right, enough. Let's go outside, let's go rip some shots. 
it's beautiful outside. This springtime reviews are my favorite because I'm really honestly outside all day doing stuff. So it's easy to get a whole bunch of reps through these. Let's get to shooting. We'll have a whole bunch of uh, different targets here. We'll shoot at everything. You guys always call me out. Like, why don't you hunt with a bear? You know, if it, if it gets the job done. It's like, it's like I'm just spoiled. I mean, think about all the reviews we've done. I've kind of got to shoot with anything I wanted to. That's like, it's like why drive a, you know, five-year-old Chevy when you can drive like, you know, a brand new, you know, brand new Bighorn Dodge. You know, it's like, I might, you might as well, if, if it's here, you know. Uh, but this year, maybe I'll put one of these bare bows. Since I bought these, maybe I'll put one of these in the, in the uh, circ in circulation in the hunting season. If you're locally, Missouri, Illinois, and you're close to Buff City, okay, new archery shop, awesome. Absolutely love the guys out there. They have a full 3D range in there. That's like 40, 45, 50 yards maybe. Um, they sell all kinds of different um, manufacturers, Matthews, Hoyt, Bear, and he also gives like a premium ready to hunt package on the Bear Bows, which is really cool. Uh, for a discounted price, like the same price you would get from another place, he kind of like upgrades it to like a dropway rest, a little bit better stabilizer, sight, that kind of stuff. And then uh, also he gives you like great prices on all the bows. So uh, check out Buff City if, you have, if, if you're local and you're looking for a good um, bear rep. So right here we'll go boar. And then we have a couple deer, one quarter to me, one quarter away from me. Those were at 30. Boar was at 25. I'm gonna say, I think the the speeds on these are gonna be like the most average speeds we get in here. So again, not bad. I think they're gonna be right where I want to see them. But as I mentioned last time, like all the speeds are almost the same. When you start seeing a big chart like I have inside and you start comparing, they're all very, very similar. So because of the price tag, it's like you're, you're probably going to get very close to some of the speeds of the, the newer flagship bows from the year. Ooh. Uh, now let's go, let's go to gazebo. We'll shoot some, some a whole bunch of different ranges. So from this angle, we go kind of diagonally across the yard. I got the hillside as a backdrop, kind of like a safety net. Then we have tons of 3D targets, five yard increments from a turkey at 20 all the way up to an elk at 50. I'm gonna tell you right, right off the bat from those other three shots. I'm all the way at the, the end of this draw cycle. I mean, at, at this draw length at 30, but there definitely is a little bit of instability. Uh, the pins wanna float a little bit on you. Um, you know, so I think as you were to decrease the draw length, uh, maybe 28, 25, that's probably where this thing shoots the best at. So keep that in mind. I think the Alaxan XT being a little bit longer axle axle, I think that one might smooth out a little bit uh, at my draw length. Um, but I'm kind of noticing it a hair. So let's go turkey at 20. We'll climb this little 3D ladder we got. We got a coyote at 25. All these, bear, all these bows. From bear they all have the exact same noise and every time i get one i tighten everything just to make sure it's not something else but they all have this little like you know i hate to say it but it sounds like something's loose kind of sound but um i thought that might go away with this cable guard but i still hear a hair this thing shoots nice though you know and when i talk about stability Oh, man, you gotta realize too that I'm like splitting hairs. I'm being a little nitpicky and I'm comparing to some of the best bows ever produced. Man, this this is like some a bow that I would just feel immediately confident with right from the beginning. Um, you know, climbing up into a tree. This is like, gosh, again for the price, you cannot beat it. Bear just does such a great job, giving what is the vast majority of the consumers in the hunting world a bow that they can afford and that they can feel comfortable and confident with for the best quality you can get for the price i think they just they just do a fantastic job you know at, at their goal at their mission of providing bows for everyone and that's another thing like you, this bow you know is a great bow for like such a large range of hunters nice fluctuation in the draw weight that 15 pounds this boat can perform for almost anybody so let's go black bear a 
Let's shoot one more at that. And then we'll do a full draw stall on Paddington. Mm. So now let me set up for the full draw stall and we'll do that 60 second hold. So now 60 seconds, full draw stall, that little black bear we call Paddington. Mmm, that felt really good. That was an 80% let off too. I don't know, that felt really, really good. The whole time. I, I just, and, and I love that that test, that full draw stall. I think it's just one of my favorite tests. And then some bows will surprise you. I, I wasn't thinking it was gonna be bad, but I did think that like I was gonna have to keep like recountering and recountering. No, I, I kind of held that pretty good. So maybe I eat my words in the beginning. Maybe those first three shots were just, the wind, I don't know. But uh, th that one felt really, really solid. All right, so now we'll go back to the kicking buck. Now it's quartering to me, 45 yards. This is what we've been calling that bonus shot. You know, the, the question we get the most, and I'm gonna touch on this several times in this review. Mmm, tuck in that shoulder. And all the bare bows is like, what are you getting for a flagship? Like, what are you really paying double for? The question to me is still unbeknownst. I, I don't know. Quality, let's say we, we're gonna give it a couple different separation of points of quality, kind of durability. Customer service by Bear is awesome. And, it, and then again, speed, we'll test it, but I have a feeling it's gonna be the exact same. So what are you really getting? I, honestly, I think it's more appeal. It's like, um, like we mentioned earlier, cars, like is my 2006 Chevy gonna get the job done? Yeah, gets me to and from where I wanna go, carries whatever I wanna carry in the back of it. My brand new Dodge, is it a luxury? Yeah, it really is, to be honest. I mean, does it, is it, does it outperform some of these older Chevys I have? No, not necessarily, maybe a little bit. It's hard to really pinpoint what you're paying that extra money for. You know, so um, this to me is like an awesome all around bow for a lot of different hunters for a great price. You, you honestly, you can't, you can't beat them. Bear's like the only one doing it here in America. You got the Sin Leader Dragon and other companies that are Chinese, but like here in America, it's like the only company. It's crazy to me. They're the only company that's giving you these really, really nice bows for a great price. I'd have to go back and look, and I'm sure some of you will be able to tune in a little bit, but I think, I think these are some of the best first shots I've taken with a bow. Now, again, I haven't shot in, or I haven't shot in a couple weeks, just I've done the review, so I'm like really excited about this one. I'm, I'm like eager to get out here. But uh, these, all, all these feel so good. Let's see on this, let's go Bighorn 50. So sometimes I speak prematurely. I did, I can at least admit it. This thing, I mean, I can get this thing to dial down real quick. I mean, almost immediately. And that hit a branch, another hard shot. This one we're gonna shoot right over that branch. I gotta do a little trimming. We'll go right over the top of that branch. I mean, I always say it like proofs in the pudding, but like you pick up a bow and you just, you just start stroking immediately. It feels good, you know, it feels really good. Let's do one more. Enough said, let's go in. We're gonna get our speed test. Now, like I mentioned, I think it's gonna be the exact same as all the other ones, which is gonna be just an, an all around awesome speed. Not any gonna separation itself from anything else. But then again, the what's separating this bow from the other ones is the price tag, not necessarily the performance. It's performing all around. So let's go get a speed and sound test and then we'll be done. 339 on the IBO, man, that's a great, that's a great speed. 
this is gonna land, I promise you, it's gonna land right in there with everybody. You know, those low 280s, 263 for the low one, maybe high 290s for the, for the lighter arrow. Again, I, I mentioned this on the last one, but it's so similar. Once you start catching on, it's so similar amongst most bows where all the speeds lie. Uh, we'll go lighter arrow, 500 grains, 70 pounds, 30 inch straw. So 281, which is what I just said. So we're gonna go, we're gonna give it that, that eight out of 10. Usually I shoot a whole bunch, but I just know where this is gonna lie. So we'll go 263. <laughs> 263. God, I think feel like I've been doing this for long enough where I can start guessing these a little bit. Um, this last one, we'll just go high, high 290s. 298. So again, that is the most average score on these, but I will say the draw cycle is awesome. Let, let's just compare. And I think this is important. Okay, so 600 bucks compared to 1500 bucks, 1700 bucks for carbons, 1400 bucks for the flagships nowadays. What are you getting? Truly, that is the question that we all ask. Like, what are you getting? After doing the freestyle shoot, I, I would feel so comfortable taking this in the field. No questions asked. You can put any accessories on it you want. You get the exact same speeds of most flagship bows. A really nice draw cycle. Whole bunch of different let off options. What, what more do you want? Is it aesthetic? Like, is it is it the look of the bow? You know, Bear's a great company. They have some great customer service. I don't think quality is too far off for you to feel the need to spend anything more than this. If this is what's in your budget, I'm telling you, they're gonna sell the shit out of these. This is a fantastic bow for the price. All right, so for the decibel reading, the SQL 31, the audio wasn't on. I didn't get the decibel reading before I sent it back. So that's why that wasn't on there because some of you asked about that. I think this has like a little twang to it. All, each company, they're both sound similar. And I'll, I'll show you what we have here. So we have that Big Shot Vegas bag with that damper on the front outside the garage. Uh, so we're trying to shoot as far as ways we can. So this is picking up the bow, not the bag. I got the quietest bag I thought I could find while still being safe shooting in that direction. So here we go. So 89.6, we say 90 is kind of like our median, anything above 90, louder side, anything below 90 is what we're looking for. 89.6, so that's right on the line. Eighty-eight point eight. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and shoot one more. This is pretty consistent with that with that sound. Eighty-nine point seven. Awesome. Right under ninety, and that's kind of like just the average I've taken from all the bows that we've done. Uh, is most of them teeter that line? Some are a little louder, some are a little lower, but they're all right in there. S speed and sound, both to me are are pretty equal across the board. Man, I'm, so, <laughs> again, the, the, I don't know why, I feel like these bows have excited me since I've seen them just because it, they were, everything was so new. So when I first did the first bear bow, I mentioned that, you know, it's, it's just a fact. I mentioned that bear shares a lot of parts with different bows and they call them different things. So I, it's like they heard me. Uh, but I, I love that they came out with an entire new rise. These are just, uh, all of them look good. Every single bow, like there's like five of them from this year. They all look really, really nice and clean. I love that they upgraded that cable guard, which is something else I mentioned in every review. It's like they heard me. Um, and then the EKO cams, uh, I, you just know why they stick with them because they're a really nice ratio of smooth to speed. Um, they have them on several different cams, but I, this is probably one of my favorite bear bows I've ever picked up. And uh, let me show you something. So here goes my dad's. This is a white tail too, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, and, and, I'm, and I'm just, get, I think this is an opportunity to talk about this for anybody who's new. This was my dad's, he slayed, okay? I never had a problem uh, in the field. And this was his bow of choice. I think I would even have a hard time right now. It's something that I would have to practice with quite a bit. The technology that we have seen lately is, is incredible. This, this bow, for the price, you, you almost can't beat it. And I love the price so much because it gives you so much room 
to buy ex really nice accessories. The rest that you want that has micro adjustments, drop away rest, um, you know, a really nice site that you want to invest in. Same with stabilizers. It gives you a ton of room to have the setup that you want on a really high performing bow. So let's jump right into the to the grade. I I think that was my best speed guessing I've ever done. 281, we're gonna give it the eight out of 10 just because I want to. I didn't want to shoot anymore because I didn't want it to tear that. Uh, <laughs> it was just like a bias. I wanted to give it an eight out of 10 because I think it deserves it. Um, I gave it a seven out of 10 for durability, okay? These bows are very structurally sound. Um, comparing them, again, when we split hairs and compare them to some of these flagship bows that we've seen, <clears throat> Uh, they are not quite up there, but they are really, really uh, nicely made. Something that I said in another video that somebody corrected me on is the limb pockets are actually aluminum with a plastic insert. I think I said it backwards the last time. So I also gave it a nine out of appeal. I, 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 like I mentioned, I love the new look of them. I love the mixing and matching of the limbs and the, and the risers. Uh, just a really sleek bow. This is a really, really nice looking, uh, more compact hunting bow. This is just a great bow for, I, I said it before, so many different people, but I love the way it looks. Technology, we gave it a six. So I love the let off play, even though it's a little complicated. And if you feel like you're struggling with exactly what's what, leave it in the comments, ask me a question, I'll walk you through it. But that six has been that bottom line technology grade that we've given you know, across the board. I love the, the play in the draw weight. I love the, you know, the adjustments in the draw length. And I love the let off play, but that's kind of our standard six as of right now. Here's the most important part to me, performance nine. Okay, so if you look over here, you have the Mach 30, the sequel, the x Lite, the Lift. I mean, you have so many different high-end flagship bows that have all received that nine um, for performance. And here you go, you got a $600 Bear Whitetail Max performance is a nine. You just saw it, I mean, those are first shots. Very easy to pick up and shoot. I ate my words in the beginning. Sometimes you just have to. I think it was the wind that was kind of jumping me around. But as I shot more and as I shot more through the day, very sturdy platform for 31 inches. I mean, for a 31 inch axle to axle. And with me at the tail end of that draw, uh, it's only gonna get better as you decrease that draw length. So uh, very nice bow, great speeds. I absolutely loved it. You get into 39, times it by two, plus your two bonus makeup points, which is key for these bows that are less expensive. We give them some points to make up because I think that's a that should be factored in. So it has a nice 80 out of 100. Awesome grade, awesome bow. I can't wait for the next one. I'm just gonna jump right into it. So we'll go with Alaskan XT next. Make sure if you're new to the channel, don't buy a bow off of a single bow review. Go into a bow shop, shoot lots of different bows. You will even see as more um, of the reviews of mine that you watch, you'll realize that like I make assumptions too and then bows seem to surprise me more and more and more. So get into a shop, shoot some, shoot different ones, shoot the one that you never thought you would buy. I think it probably will surprise you. One will stand out more than others and then you can make a good decision on what bow is gonna suit you best. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Stay tuned for these other bears.